Hey guys, it's Lori. Today is actually July 4th, even though you're not gonna be seeing this until I think a day later. I made some shortcakes and they're low carb, keto friendly shortcakes. I used, I based it on a couple of recipes that I found, one was for biscuits and another one was for buns. And I added some things, I changed it up a bit. I'll put the recipes down below in the description. First, I'm gonna try them because I haven't even tried them yet, so maybe they're not even good. Here is the shortcakes, and you know I'm gonna pose for a thumbnail real, real quick. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna show you a little clip real quick of what they looked like when they came out of the oven. All right, here's the shortcakes fresh from the oven. Oh my goodness, do they ever smell good. These are more biscuit-like, and I made this other recipe is more cakey, I guess. These are just some extra from the biscuit type ones, the extra dough. But I did want to make them in my large sized muffin cups, so I didn't have enough for quite all of the dough. Anyway, yeah, these smell amazing. And this, this is the tops. This is what I just showed you on this plate is just half of each kind. This is the tops of them that I cut off and I'm just gonna, here, will you actually set those on the stove top for me? Just set those over there because I'm not gonna eat those. I just wanted to try them really quick and of course I have to do it on video. And this whipped cream is heavy cream that I whipped up. I did sweeten it with Splenda, but you can use monk fruit or stevia, whatever sweetener you want. I just, I like this sweetened with stevia, uh, um, did I say Splenda? Did I say Splenda? I sweetened it with Splenda. Not sure what I said, but I like it sweetened with Splenda. Anyway, I'm gonna try these and let you know which one's which. Um, okay, this one's the biscuit one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try the biscuit one first. And of course I have to get a little piece of strawberry. John was gonna try it. I was gonna have him try it too and see what he thought, but he just came in from lifting. So he's just not in the mood to have something like this right now. But when he did come in from lifting, he said, it does smell like shortcake in here. So that's a good thing. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna get a little piece of strawberry cause I don't wanna make this into like some kind of mukbang or mukbang or mukbang or however you say that word. Okay, this is the biscuit one. I barely have any biscuit. There's mostly whipped cream. All right, let's try it. I need to try a bigger piece of the biscuit part because really all I could taste was strawberry. So, <laughs> all right, hold on. Okay. It's really good. It's very good. Yeah, it's, it still has a bit, I don't know. The texture is not exactly on for a shortcake but it's really good. I think it needed to be, I don't know, it's not completely cooled either, so that might be another reason why. But maybe if I would have put it in the oven a little bit longer, it might have done the trick, but it's still really good. There's definitely, I don't have any complaints about it, honestly. But anyway, if you're looking for that traditional shortcake, it's close, but no cigar as far as the texture goes. All right, let's try the almond bun one. The taste is fantastic though. Here we go. Doesn't that just look good? That could be a thumbnail too. <laughs> that was really good. I gotta try a bigger piece of the almond part though. I need to try it without the strawberry. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> Pretty much the same deal. It doesn't have that exact texture you might be looking for, but that absolutely does the trick. It really does. It's Both of them are really good. If, had, if I had to choose one or the other, I'm not really sure which one I would choose. I like them both. I do. I wish you would have tried them because I'd really love to hear what you say. But if he tries them later, I'll put down in the description box below what he thinks of them too. So I'll put his opinion down there because I know he's gonna try it later. We're gonna cook out and have dessert, but I couldn't wait. <laughs> okay, I'm also having my Dollar Tree cups that I bought. 
my USA cups with some iced coffee. I painted my nails red because, like I said, this is July 4th, and my grandma passed away 11 years ago today. She was a feisty woman. She was a very feisty woman. Was she not? Yes. <laughs> yes. She went out with a bang. That's what I say. She picked her day. She passed away a couple days before she passed away. Um, she was in a nursing home and an assisted living actually. And they painted her nails red and she loved them so much. She said, it has been so many years since I've had red nails and I just love them. She passed away with red nails. So I'm celebrating my grandma with my blood red nails on my fingertips. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go finish this strawberry shortcake and I'll probably show you guys our food, the rest of our food that we're cooking besides just strawberry shortcake because it's just me and John today. I don't think anybody's coming over, at least not as far as I know. So we're just probably going to sit outside and have, start a little fire maybe, you think? Yeah. yeah. Probably start a little fire, fire up the grill, eat some food. I don't know if we'll drink any drinks or not, but... Anyway, I hope everybody had a really great 4th Independence Day. And if you're not from the United States, I hope you had a great weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. And here's dinner. Dessert. Baked potatoes. we got burgers and cheapo steaks. Works for me. We're out in our backyard. Just sitting here listening to some music, having a couple of drinks, having a fire. There's fireworks all around us. <laughs> I hope they realize we're on the opposite side of the tracks from the fire department. <laughs> They're coming from everywhere. I know you can't see me because it's dark, but I am sitting on my front porch, you guys. This is crazy. It is so dry outside. <laughs> oh my God. I really, really hope that there's a fire truck ready on this side of the tracks because you all know how the trains are around here. <laughs> Wow, it's an awesome fireworks display though.